Welcome back to another Gunther Diamond Tools video. Uh, today I'm going to respond to a question I just got. What to do when um, the ejector needle sticks too far out from the drill bit? Um, what happens is as you're drilling, the ejector needle will hit um, before the, the cutting edge of the, the drill bit and it will want to move your, your stone around and it's really hard to get uh, a precise um, location to drill. So uh, what this is caused from is these are sintered diamond bits that are consumed the more you drill. So if you can see there, there's, a, there's kind of a sparkly portion of metal and diamond matrix and then there's a solid metal. Well, as you drill, this, this diamond matrix is going to be consumed over time. Um, and this will get shorter and shorter um, as you start drilling. So this is, this is an older drill bit I have here. Um, but what doesn't get consumed is the ejector needle. So it sticks out um, farther and farther as the, the cutting edge gets shorter and shorter. So um, it's really easy to fix. All you do is you take a pair of uh, wire snips um, and clip this flush with the edge of the, the diamond bit, just like that. Now it's in perfect alignment again. Um, it's okay if it slightly sticks out um, just past. Um, what you don't want to do is, is take the ejector needle out and cut it without the drill bit on because the two, these two pieces need to remain in proportion to each other for them to effectively remove the core. So um, when, it, when you start noticing a little bit too much run out or a little bit too much play when that needle gets too long, just take some snips and, and snip it off and, and you're, you'll be back to drilling. Um, that's why all of our drill bits come with a new ejector needle. Um, when you order a new drill bit, it will come with a new needle that's in perfect pr proportion to the drill bit. So um, yeah, happy drilling. <laughs> 